Hey, I'm Ashton Jacqueline, and this is your beginner abs class where we're gonna really go into the core. I'm gonna help you learn your body so you can activate the correct muscles and see progress quickly. Okay, you don't need any equipment at all. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the workout. Let's begin by laying down on our backs here. Feet are gonna be flat down on the ground, just like this. And I want you to just first start out by placing one hand on your lower belly one hand on your ribs. Now I want you to give a little cough, so give a little <laughs> just like that, okay? That's where the ribs should be, right there where they're closed up. So that might be a new position for you, but just feel what that feels like. <laughs> feel how the lower belly turns on, and I want you to keep this position here with the belly, the lower belly toned and the ribs in as we breathe, just a few breaths. So think about the breath going to the outside of the ribs. Good, and then let's place the hands behind the head. Take an inhale in, exhale, bring the chin in towards your chest, look down towards your belly button. Ribs are pulled in just like we practiced Lower belly is pressing down. And then inhale as you bring the head down. Exhale as you bring the head back up. Good, inhale as you lower down. Exhale as you come up. Think about those ribs right here. Even as you extend back, the ribs still stay closed. You don't completely release this whole area here. Everything still stays closed. Good, exhale to come up. Inhale. To lower down, keeping the ribs in. Exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Hold it right here. Now bring one arm forward, and you're just gonna pump the arm down. Press, 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 good. I'm gonna switch arms so just so you can see it. Little presses down, down, down. Every press, I want you to look at your belly button and think of the belly button going down, down, down. And the ribs going in, in, in. Good. Now if you feel ready, you can bring both arms, pump them down and down and down and down. Good job. Now I want you to add a breath here, the Pilates 100 breath. So we're gonna inhale, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four, good. Inhale, take a little bit faster now. Good. Good, now keep the body still and just let the arms pump. Good, inhale, two, and take it up a little bit faster. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, good. Keep pressing the lower belly down. Keep bringing the ribs in. Good, now keep going with that and just come onto the balls of your toes, that's it. Two more times. Good, and come all the way down. So if you felt those neck muscles turning on, that's good and that's okay. That also helps with your posture. So it's good that we actually get them nice and worked. All right, so now we're going to press all the way up as the knee comes up into 90 degrees. And you're just gonna come up. Arms are just gonna reach right over the shoulders, not beyond you, okay? Just right here. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. If it's ever too much, you can just bring the hands right behind the head, or you can just do one arm at a time like this, because sometimes the neck muscles do get pretty burnt right here. But that's good, we do want them to be working and strong as well. But tuck the chin in towards your chest. Good. I want you to look at your belly button every time you come up into this crunch, look at the belly button and press it down with your mind. With your eyes, press the lower belly down. Nice, that's the hardest part. We don't wanna push the, be the belly out like a loaf of bread. We really wanna make sure that we contract and pull it down. Good. A few more just like this. Exhale. 
inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's hold it right here. Little pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, let's switch sides. And for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna start to take it up a notch. Now that we've really gotten this lower belly connected to the mind, that's the trick with the abs. It's really about this mind-body connection. So we wanna concentrate, inhale, and you're gonna lift everything up at the same time. Exhale, inhale, tap both toes down without letting this happen here, okay? This is it, this is where you really get to focus and train these muscles to stay down. Exhale, pull it in, inhale, tap it down. Exhale. Inhale. As many years as I've been doing this, I still like to come back to these exercises to remind myself to build this foundation again. Because sometimes I can, we all can, you know, fall into bad habits again, where I'm kind of overusing the rectus abdominis, but I'm trying to get into the transverse again. So I love doing these beginner type classes just to rebuild this foundation, reconnect with what it truly means to work the core, right? It doesn't mean really fast, flashy moves. Sometimes it's just this nice, these little beginner exercises which are so key that many, many people miss. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, let's hold it up here. Stay here at this 90 degree angle. Make sure that they're not pulling in towards your chest, but stay right there at 90. And we're gonna do little crunches right here. Up and up. Now really look at that belly button. Press it down with your eyes. Bring the ribs together. Good, for eight, seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, all right. Whew. Take a little breather. You're doing amazing. And we're gonna add a little bit of a twist now. So the same move that we just did before, tap the toes down. I want you to extend long to the chest. Exhale, think about lifting the shoulders up off of the ground as we get into the obliques a little bit. But through this movement, I want you to go as slow as you can right here. Exhale, draw the lower belly down and inhale in. Exhale. And inhale. Staying up on the ball of your toe so that you don't put too much weight into the feet. Keep going. Good for four. And three. And two. And one, nice job. Now we're gonna take the legs straight up and straight out in front of us. We're gonna do a nice big circle all the way down and around. And let's place the hands on the ground. This is gonna help to support you. So nice big circle, cross over the leg, open the leg and back up to the center. Now the key here is to not let the hips wobble around. And if it's too much, you can always just bend the supporting leg and start there, okay? Let's do four in each direction. And four, and up. Three, and up. Two, moving nice and slow. Don't let those hips wiggle around. One, and we're gonna switch directions for four. Now I'm using my hands and I'm actually squeezing my shoulder blades underneath myself so that I'm not rounded here in the shoulders. I'm actually squeezing them back together. Good, two, and up. Hold onto that core, one, and up. Remember, if you've lost it, you can give that little cough, right, to find those deep, deep core muscles. Here we go, and four, and up. Keep those hips still. I, I even have to really remind myself a lot, three, so it's so key to come back to these foundational moves. Two. And one. 
So if your hips are wobbling around a little bit, just take the circle smaller until you can control it all the way around. Four. Three. Two. And one. A beautiful work right here. And then we're gonna lift the legs up. Come on up so that the legs are all the way straight. Lift on up. We're gonna just end here with little pulses and pulse, pulse, and pulse. Good, really press the lower belly down. Now if you feel ready, you can bring one leg down and then switch sides. Good. Nice and slow and steady as we start to lift and lower the legs, keeping the lower belly pressed down, so move slow. Good, and now let's take the hand on the leg and then do nice little switches right here. Switch and switch. So it's that switch position right here in between the hold that you gotta really press down into the belly. This is our last move here for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, press it down, two, and one, beautiful job. Reach the arms up overhead, reach the legs nice and long. Give yourself a nice, well-deserved stretch. Inhale, and exhale. That felt so good. I hope you feel your core activated and toned. Amazing job.